Hi everyone, so this is going to be my figuring in process kind of video. It's a semi tutorial. As you can see, I already have some of the pieces made. So I've already made all the components of the figurine that I'm making. Before I continue, I would like to mention that this was inspired by Pastelaholic. She made a Mamagoma lemonade stand and I've been wanting to make one of my own for a little while. Although it has been kind of on and off or a little iffy about Pastelaholic and her whereabouts, especially because she's never sent out her contest prizes, her trade packages, or any of that sort. I do want to note that she is or was an amazing crafter. So I'm going to show you my process in finishing this already baked figurine. And um, I'm going to show you all the pieces at the end, but for now I'm just going to show you the last finishing touches that I'm going to make. So now that I have everything painted, I am going to glue everything onto the figurine. And yes, I am going to glue it because I want everything to kind of stay in, you know, one location. And, and I mean, if you don't want to glue it, that's okay. I think the only thing that you would want to put glue together would be the sign. And you can kind of make it lopsided, you can make it straight, but um, then it'd be more like a remit kit. So that's definitely something you can consider. And now I'm just going to show you me kind of gluing everything together. I will be using super glue to do all of this. You can use E6000. Okay, so here is everything glued together and I know it's a little bit clumped. But um, I really like the dimensions or the depth that there is in this figurine because obviously if I zoom out a little bit you see the front and then if I zoom in you see Mamagoma in the back um, and then you do see the lemon. So now I'm just going to show you the details of the figurine. I generally like how this turned out. If I were to remake it I'd probably make this table a little wider so not everything's clumped together or I would make the pieces or the lemons a little smaller. But overall, I really like how this turned out. And um, again, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna show you the texturing of the wood as well as the translucency in the lemons. So I hope you guys will enjoy my overview. 